Hello, my name is Kurt Riley. I'm with the Enterprise Vault Backline Support Team, and today I will be presenting a demonstration of the steps detailed in TechNote TECH35742, titled How to Move a Vault Store Partition or Vault Store on the same Enterprise Vault server from one location to another. Before proceeding, it is highly recommended to back up all Enterprise Vault databases as well as the Vault Store partitions that will be moved to a new location. First, on the SQL Server, we will confirm the watch file table is clear. Archived items that have not been backed up yet will be listed in the watch file table. Items can remain in the watch file table after a partition has been backed up if an item has a shared part in another partition that has not been backed up yet. Therefore, before beginning the steps to move the partition, a backup of all vault stores and all partitions should be performed. Failure to do so could result in event ID 6510 being logged if items were left in the watch file table. To confirm that the watch file table is clear, on the SQL Server, we will open SQL Server Management Studio, connect to the desired instance of SQL, expand databases, select the desired vault store database that corresponds to the partition that needs to be moved. Click the New Query button, and then execute the following query. Select count star, where star is in parentheses, from watch file. We'll click Execute, and see that it returns zero. If the result had not been zero, it would indicate there are still items that need to be secured before continuing. Next, on the Enterprise Vault server, we will set backup mode on vault stores and index locations. We will stop all Enterprise Vault services, and we will copy the vault store or vault store partition to the new location. Although we will be stopping all AV services later during this process, we will still need to place EV into backup mode now. Doing so will allow us to start the EV services after the partition has been moved without any new data being archived until we can verify the move was successful. For versions 8.0 and higher, backup mode would be set in the administration console. To do this, I will right click on the site, hover over set state, and select set backup mode on all vault stores. I will click yes to confirm and click OK to acknowledge that backup mode has been set. I'll repeat the process by right clicking on the site, hovering over set state, and selecting set backup mode on all index locations. Again I'll click yes to acknowledge, and I'll click OK. Had this been a version prior to 8.0, this would have been done in the registry. To demonstrate, I will click Start, Run, type RegEdit, and click OK. For 64-bit operating systems, I navigate to HKEY Local Machine, Software, WOW 6432 node, KVS, Enterprise Vault, and select Storage. Because this environment is 10.0, the registry keys would not normally exist here. As such, I have created the registry keys in the 32-bit section for demonstration purposes only. For 32-bit operating systems, we navigate to HKEY Local Machine, Software, KVS, Enterprise Vault, and select Storage. Next, I'll disable each of the entries that start with the word Enable by setting them to a value of 0. And now I'll exit out of Registry Editor. 
At this point, backup mode is set and we are ready to begin. Before proceeding, it is highly recommended that a full backup of the SQL databases and the Vault Store partitions be performed. Once complete, we'll stop all EV services by stopping the Enterprise Vault admin service. I'll click Yes to confirm that I want to stop the dependent services. In the interest of saving time, I've already stopped the majority of my EV services. Next, I'll copy the Vault Store partition VS1 PTN1 to the new location on the V drive. The current location is on the C drive in a folder called Enterprise Vault Stores. I'll right click VS1 PTN1, select Copy, select Enterprise Vault Store directory on the new V drive, right click and paste. And now that the partition is copied, I'm ready to connect to SQL. Next, on the SQL server, we will update the partition root path within the partition entry table to the new location of the Vault Store partition. On the SQL server, I will open SQL Server Management Studio. I'll select the proper instance and click Connect. I'll expand Databases. I'll expand Enterprise Vault Directory, I'll expand Tables, and I'll scroll down to the Vault Store Entry Table. I'll right click, Open Table. Because my Vault Store partition that I want to move is on Vault Store VS1, this is the only one I'm concerned with. I can see the name of the Vault Store entry ID is 12Bravo6, and because that is unique, that's as much as I need to take note of. I will close this table. I will scroll up to the Partition Entry table. Right click, Open Table. Here I see the very top row is the Vault Store entry ID 12Bravo6. I'll modify the partition root path from the C drive to the V drive and hit enter. I'll close this table and then I'll open the table again just to confirm that the path was saved properly. Here we'll close SQL Server Management Studio. Lastly, on the Enterprise Vault server, we'll start the Enterprise Vault services and confirm that archived items can be retrieved. If everything can be retrieved successfully, we will clear backup mode on the vault stores and index locations and our move is complete. On the EV server, we need to start the EV services. Once the services are started, we should check the event viewer to ensure there are no errors. And as we can see, there are no errors, and I have my 6221 indicating that the storage service has started. If the partition move had been unsuccessful, the storage service would not start successfully. At this point you would want to confirm with your end users that they can open up archived items and if they can then we are done. We just need to clear backup mode. I'll right click on the site, hover over set state, select clear backup mode from all vault stores, click yes to confirm, and click OK. I'll repeat the process for the indexes, right click, hover over set state, select clear backup mode from all index locations, 
click yes and click OK. For versions prior to 8.0 this would be done in the registry again. So I will click start, run, regedit and click OK. For each of the enable keys we want to set them back to a value of 1 At that point you would want to cycle your admin service one more time. For detailed steps, refer to TechNote TECH 35742.